Let's start making an office partition uh, system just to create a little private space within this open air um, office that we're creating. So, you know, the idea is we're going to create a kind of divider here, put a uh, suspended ceiling, acoustical ceiling to create some kind of um, audio privacy for people who might be having a meeting in here. So let's go ahead and get started in Revit. We're going to use a floor based, um, you know, a family element to make this module and then just repeat it out and change one of them to a door. So let's bump into Revit. And I'm going to go to File and open up a new family. There'll be a wall-based, or a floor-based, excuse me, generic model. And we're in the top elevation. And I'm going to make an extrusion quickly. And I'm going to use my rectangle tool. And we'll go back here and adjust these dimensions. Uh, two inches is fine. Let's see this way. Let's make this uh, four inches. All right, and we want to extrude that out 10 feet. It'll be 10 feet tall. And so I'll just click complete and let's position it. position it on that center line and then I'll come in here and grab the center of this one and slide it over onto that one and then we're going to move it over uh, half our dis distance so I'll move it over uh, we want it three feet so I'm going to move it over one foot six and we'll make a mirror of that right away and now if we um, now we have something that's three foot on center so we can move our modules off in three foot increments. So with that all set, let's go to the um, front elevation now. I'm going to grab one of these and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And we'll use that as the top and bottom element. So I can come to hit our 90 here. I'll slide this back. And I'll place that up on the top. And I'll copy it down, the one on the bottom. And I'll copy up one at six inches. And then right away, I want to go to the right elevation of this. And I'm going to make a little bit of a change to this one. I'm going to pull this back a little bit. Let's pull this back an inch. That kind of moved it, but that doesn't matter. Now I'm just going to trim this back off to the front. So that overall will be three inches. And then we'll go back to the front and make a bunch of duplicates of this one. So that's just to stay in front of the glass that we're going to create. So that's, um, we'll move these on six inch increments. That's good. And then I'll place one right at that edge and then I'll move it off. Um, well, four inches to start because it's already two inches thick. And then we'll copy it down six. That looks pretty good. And this could be any design you want. I'm, you know, this could be a solid panel on the bottom if you wanted to create it. Anything you want to do. I'm just showing you just a methodology of making a divider. So the last thing we need on this is a piece of glass. So let's create an extrusion. Um, it's a rectangle. We'll make it fit with inside of this space here. And we'll make it out of glass. So we just need to type in glass. And uh, Revit will know what material that is. And I want to make sure that we don't over extrude it. So we're going to go 0.25 inches and complete that off. And then we'll look at that from the right hand view again. And you can see we need to move it over a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll do a copy. I'll take it off a of moldable. And I'll try to grab this right here. And then, oops, I meant to take the constraint off. And then move that over there. So we have a duplicate now. So I'm going to delete the original. And we can look at this from a 3D view. You can render it and see if maybe it'll show the glass, but I don't know. I guess it's kind of hinting at glass there. So with that completed, let's just save that one more time. Or actually, we haven't saved it at all, so let me save it. 
and we're going to call that the office partition. I've already made one, so I'll just overwrite it and replace it. And then we'll go ahead and load that into our project. And I've already had it in here before, so I'm just going to overwrite and we'll go ready to place it. So we'll go to component, place a component, an office partition. I'll come and just drop one in so we can zoom in and see what it's like. Remember, we're going to make this in the bay next to the one of the bathrooms here. So I'm going to come in here and uh, let's go ahead and rotate this now. So we can attach it to the wall. And I have that copy command on. So let me just delete this one. And we'll just push this up until it touches. Let me grab the move tool. So we touch the wall there. And then let's make some copies of it, um, three foot on center. So put this on multiple. And we'll come down three feet, three feet. We'll make about five of these. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab these now and make a copy of them. Actually, we'll use the copy and rotate tool. Just rotate that 90 degrees and then we'll move it. I'll come up here and grab this corner and bring it down into here and attach it there. And the last thing we need to do for making the room is to grab one of the, the whole side again and we'll just mirror it and I'll use the center center point of the uh, panel series that we made. Now let's take a look at what we've got here. So I'm going to go to view. I'm going to make a temporary view, 3D view camera. And there's our partition system. We still need a ceiling and we need to make a doorway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit type. So that'll open up that file again. Oops, I didn't want to do it that way. Actually, what I'll do is let's just go out to the original file. I'll make sure I've saved this. And what we'll do now is we'll convert this one to a door. So what I'll do is I'll do a save as. Save as a family. And now instead of off in partition, I'm going to add um, door. And the thing to make it uh, look more like a door will be to get rid of everything at the ground level here. So it looks like something we could walk through. We might actually do something with this glass. Let me go to the front view of this and I'll go ahead and make a copy of that. Let me see if I can grab that glass by hitting tab. There we go. So I have two pieces of glass. I'm going to pull this one back up again. So there's now a little gap for that door area. I'll just clean that up. And we still have this one. I thought I got, oops, I guess I just pulled this. I want to pull this back down. So I think we're, actually, maybe we'll leave that a little little um, high at the bottom. So that kind of looks like it could be a glass door. Okay, so um, we'll just uh, double check that we've saved this. We'll load it into the project. And we'll go back to that new view that we created. I'm thinking 3D view 3. Wrong view, but that'll work anyway. Well, if I got rid of the crop box. I'm forgetting which view I made here. I don't remember closing it off. Anyway, so let's go back to that view 3. And what I'll do is I'll just turn the crop region off. And we'll zoom out a little bit and then I'll grab this one, which is where I want to put the door and we'll substitute it for the office partition door. All right. And now let's drop some uh, table in there. So I'm going to go back to the mezzanine view. We'll just grab the table or actually we'll do it um, as we would conventionally. Let's go place a component. Let's look for that table now.
Maybe I should have just grabbed the, uh, there it is, large desk. It's probably a little big for this room, but that looks pretty good. So we'll place that. And then we'll go to components and place some chairs. There's our. And usually when you set these, you can set them just a little bit underneath the table. I'm going to put in four. That's probably a little bit um, overstuffed. I don't know why it won't let me place this last one. I guess it's about spacing. So I'm going to grab all of these now. And I'm going to mirror them over to the other side. Okay, so now we're set up with our table and our chairs. And now let's put a ceiling on everything. So I'm going to go to ceiling. And I'll make sure I have it on gypsum wallboard. And we'll sketch the ceiling. And it'll just be a rectangle. And we know that's uh, 10 feet um, tall, so I'll make that 10 feet. And let's go back to our view. Now that view, how about this view? There it is. Looks really thick. I must have picked the thick one. So let's try to pick the standard one. And it's a little bit, it's coming, so it's 10 foot to the top. So we actually want to shrink it down a little bit. So let's do this at nine foot, let's say eight inches. We'll try that. Okay, so now if I zoom in here, you can see we have a ceiling system. We have our um, our doorway to get in and um, our furniture. So I think we pretty well wrapped this up as far as the kind of things I wanted to build for this project. I think what I'd like to add is maybe some exterior furniture. We'll do that next. And then we'll actually just create some good high quality views for presentation.